How's it going guys? The uh, new Game of Thrones trailer uh, just dropped about half an hour ago, so I'm going to just do a bit of analysis. Um, I'm thinking that this will be one of the final trailer. I think the final trailer that we'll see. There might be one close to the date they launch just to get you hyped up for it, so you remember it, I guess, but not that we're going to forget. But it's basically most of what we've seen before, but from different perspectives with a bit of new footage here and there, and a few little bits of dialogue that I'm going to break down. Try to anyway. Don't fight so, for the north. essentially, here we've got Littlefinger talks in Littlefinger saying, "Don't fight for the north. Don't fight for the south. Fight every battle. Fight every, every battle everywhere." So, is this small manipulation on Sansa? Probably. Maybe. It's, it's, what is his game? What is Baelish's game? Always. That's the question. In your mind. Always in your mind. So here we have some more. Footage. So we've seen the gate footage in the uh, last trailer, but now we see what looks like somebody outside. Is that John? Is he the last survivor? Is it? Oh no, it's um, what's the face carrying uh, Bran? Of course. I just realised it just now. How did I just not realise that? It was on his little sled. There we are. Brilliant. Sorted. <laughs> so there we have it. Um, yeah. So we've got another shot of John in the wilderness. Beyond the wall, looks like he's surrounded by some wildlings, possibly rangers, just wrapped up in warm clothes. Um, shots of uh, Lannister. Um, it could either, it's either King's Landing or the Lannister stronghold. There is King's Guard there, which could suggest that Cersei comes to um, Castle Rock in response to Daenerys landing. Um, at Dragonstone, um, or it is just King's Landing and the King's Guard is walking through and the Lannister banners are everywhere. I don't know. It's one of the two. Um, here we have the same shot again of Daenerys at the. Um, let's just turn the audio down a little bit. Um, at the battle map. Uh, go back. Whoa. Another shot of uh, Arya. Arya in the uh, wilderness as well. Jamie looks like going on the battlements there's a few uh there's a guy um in the bottom left hand corner that uh has suffered the same fate as majority of people in game of thrones and died uh, unclear if this is on the battlements at castle rock or something else has been going on here we have little finger again looking creepy in the shadows which we've seen in the previous trailer um, and the sword, sharp, sword sharpening, sword sharpening sequence. Uh, Daenerys the walking the beaches. Together against she rips their common down. enemy. So essentially, in that, John was talking about us for centuries. Our families have been fighting together over a common enemy. I, I'm assuming that means to the, this is dialogue to Daenerys saying that the families did fight each other at one point. Before that, they were working together, so they need to go back to that sort of time to fight a common enemy, i.e. the uh, White Walkers. And this could be dialogue to Daenerys, or it could be for some someone else, but I, I think it will be Daenerys, judging by the leaked photos and whatever we've had, um, you know, in previous months. But it looks like she's taken over Dragonstone and, like, ripping down the banners, the dragons are coming in, looking all together. lovely... Uh, and we see another shot of Tyrion. This is obviously the sort of shot where he comes to the coastline, he sees the dragons. We need to do this. Theon, we... so we know Dick. Um, an unsullied nodding, which could add to the other people nodding sequence. The enemy is uh, Brienne and Podrick are arriving at. Winterfell? Yes, Winterfell. We've been arriving at Winterfell because they're in the last trailer, they're in the Grand Hall. So that'll be a rhythm arriving at Winterfell. And we've got a lovely, lovely shot of the Hound in snow gear. So I'm thinking that, because we'll see in a minute, I'm thinking that the Hound and Beric, uh, you'll see Beric Dondarrion in a bit, go to the wall or they're north of the wall, or they're somewhere close to the wall, because we're seeing the, where the winter's coming to, like, obviously Winterfell is in snow, but this looks more 
blizzard and you only see like the blizzard stuff i think north of the wall so i think this might be north of the wall perhaps or somewhere close to uh winter farm going up towards the more northern areas uh here we see a poor unsullied it looks like he falls from the battlements most likely going up a ladder and then getting shot off and then splat on the floor that's what it looks like to me at least but you can see someone salute in the background raising their shields against bombardment from arrows so i assume this is near the walls and you can see something that looks like a war in the background um this is is that i forgot a name now as soon as as soon as i need to say it i forgot a name theon's sister i believe that is just jumping down from looks like trying to assassinate the uncle i think that's the uncle there um, maybe it's a final battle or something. So it looks like after the attack on the boats has happened, so it looks like this is the climax of the battle. Okay. And we have Jamie and Bronn leading a Lannister uh, obviously arch archers, archer division, archer brigade, whatever you call them. Missile units, whatever. I... It doesn't... I just thought this, if they're defending Castle Rock, they'd been inside the battlements, and this looks like obviously outside, so I'm just wondering whether or not this is like Castle Rock gets taken and then Jimmy goes to take it back. It's unclear. Here we have some ravens, probably most likely being controlled by Bran. I don't know if that's them just closing their eye or that's Bran taking over Wargan into them. Then we have the Night King himself. Looking lovely. Uh, hopefully we get to see more involvement of him in this. Um, and we have Bran looking like Charles Xavier. And someone there, some maester of some description. I don't know who that is. Let me in the comments. Leave in the, bleh, let me know in the comments if you know who that is. It's always been real. Mm -hmm. So here we have. So if have on Darien. I, I assume this is obviously with the Hound and possibly with John, judging by their attire. They could be together. It could be like... Got a little mission beyond the wall, but if you look at Beric's eye, he is looking upwards. So I assume that he is facing a foe either on higher ground or a foe of greater stature, i.e., a White Walker. And it looks like I, I, I would imagine his sword is Valerian steel as well, but also it sets on fire. So can it kill a White Walker? Probably, I'm assuming so. If it can set on fire. So, back, 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 back. Is this uh, Theon's fleet or is this the Uncle's fleet? I'm sure. Because they're heading towards. Although, wait, didn't he say that he's backing up the Lannisters? So, this is probably the Uncle's fleet going to. King's Land. I'm pretty sure this is King's Land, or is this Castle Rock? I am not sure. My architect, the thing of the architecture is not as good as someone else's. But um, is that a missile? Not a missile. Sorry, is that in the background? Is that a, a? No, it's a bird. I thought it was a uh, catapult bolt being fired off. Hey, oh, are they unsullied? Letting in. Oh, right, okay. I get, uh, sorry, I, I got confused then. So, obviously, these Unsullied have scaled the battlements in, like, a sort of tactic we've seen before where they infiltrate and then open the gates and then Unsullied come in. Excellent. And here we have, after, looks like this is Danny either before or after the battle, uh, looking over, looking sort of a bit surprised. So, maybe looking at Jon Snow, perhaps? Who knows? Uh, here we have Jamie running through uh, the carnage from the aftermath of the battle, leading one last charge, perhaps. I think this will go within the last shot where he gets the dragon. I think it's be the dragon. He'll be going to the dragon. So, explosions on the boats. Tormund fighting probably a white or a white walker. Uh, the dragon, as we saw in the last trailer, leading the charge with the Dothraki. Uh, they're looking that they're going to be fucked by something. I think this is like looking at the incoming fire on their boats. As you can see, the boats getting destroyed. Um, Lannister soldiers making a formation of spears, probably gets cavalry charge, most likely the Dothraki and the... Dr like, most likely this is how it will play out. 
the Dothraki will be coming over the hill, they'll lower their spears, like, oh, they can't do that, and then the dragon will show up, and they'll be like, oh, shit. And here we have whites. It looks like they're attacking them from all sides. So, um, in fact, I'm taking it back. They're definitely with John because if you look to your right, you see Beric, it's flaming sword, there stabbing a white, and then you, I'd assume the hound on the left, I think. Clear who that is, but he's using two things to like cut in someone there. Now, this stunning chap, William Wallace, he looks like, or some Roman. His face is kind of. He's in a Lannister fortification or something, because Lannister troops in the background were one guy. I don't know who it is though. Oh well. And then we have Davos with Jon Snow with his armor plate with the wolf crest on. This looks like at the place where Danny is because of the sea wall and the sea, uh, the natural uh, slate wall and the sea walls that have been man made. And then we have what looks like. Ah, look at that man bun. Look at the bun at the back of the head. That's definitely Jon fighting with the White Walker. And is that long claw? Hard to tell. But yeah, that's Jon fighting. Um, Seed of Dothraki going through fire, obviously laid by the dragon. Um, looks like Theon having a moment. His uncle slashes on an axe. And then this is the scene I think is with Jamie charging. Jamie charges at the dragon, horse gets dismount he gets dismounted from the horse and he's there and it's like, oh shit, he's gonna eat me. Oh, how about that? He gets burnt, but doesn't burn because Jamie is a Targaryen. Wouldn't that, be a, wouldn't that be a turn up for the books? So there we are. Uh, oh yeah, this is the, we've seen this before. And then this is where I say, when snows fall, when, when the, the wind, white winds blow. When the white winds blow. Because this is John, this looks like John riding back solo. Uh -oh. So I'm thinking it ends badly and everyone dies. The lone wolf dies. Lone wolf dies. So is John the lone wolf? Or is Bran the lone wolf at this stage? Because technically John's not a, well he is a wolf, but he's half wolf, half dragon. So he's the lone the wolf brown. But the pack survives, therefore the staff survive. Now, this is interesting. So you slash this guy down, they, they don't look like they're ready to charge. I just wonder if the, the whites look at John differently now because he was dead and now he's risen. Or maybe the white walkers can sense there's something different about him. Perhaps they're trying to learn more about why he's still alive, or they're just waiting for their command to charge. Who knows? They're probably surrounded. But yeah, there we are. The final, well, possibly the final trailer. Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Loads of speculation out. I definitely think going to do a speculation video with Jamie now that we've got all this information together, so we can get some ball rolling and come up with some crazy wacky theories that everyone will disagree with uh, but yeah thanks for listening watching guys i uh, hope you've enjoyed it i hope this has provided some insight please get commenting in the section below and tell me where i'm wrong tell me what's going on tell me if i'm talking absolute shit let me know what's going on because i'm not the best at this so let me know cheers see you in a bit